Hi, this is Mad Cat, the Angry Galatarian, and I'm doing a reaction to the new Ghostbusters trailer. So far, I've been disappointed in what I've seen from the trailer, but, you know, maybe Sony has learned their lesson and is going to actually give us something good. Although, there's only so much you can do with a crap product and making it look good. So, <clears throat> I have not yet seen this. We're just going to get my fan reaction to this. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. It will haunt you every night. Whatever it is. Yes, uh, the Ghostbusters trailer has haunted my every night. No one should have to encounter that kind of evil. Yes, I agree. Except you girls, I think you can handle it. Oh, all good. Hi. Thanks. We have a gift. We see what no one else is willing to see. We do things others can't do. Ghostbusters. If there's a paranormal problem, we're the ones to answer the call. Hello. That's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Really? You're showing that same exact scene even though we've all complained about that scene? <sighs> what do we think of these Ghostbusters? Are they to be taken seriously? You take that aisle, I'll take the far one. Okay, you sweaty freaks. I'm about to save you from this ghost. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if it was a race thing or a lady thing, but I'm mad as hell. Well, given that the first woman jumped on there and, you know, pushed her back, um, I don't think it's a lady thing. And the fact that um, you're like a big woman, like you're not just, you know, uh, well, what's the word, fat, but you're also carrying a proton reactor on your back and that thing's got to be heavy. I mean, I'm amazed they did it with the other girl who was kind of fat herself, but you're much bigger than that one. So I think it was a weight thing. I don't even think it was a race thing. There's a bigger picture at hand here. Someone is creating a device that amplifies paranormal activity. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Hey guys, check it out! Kevin, come inside! I was born to be a Ghostbuster, all right? Oh man, that's so not good. Something big is gonna happen. So, of course, they now have to make the handsome white guy the enemy of the movie. Huh, gee. I wonder what narrative they're trying to paint here. The word we're looking for is apocalypse. Are you want to paint in this? Yeah! The government's what the trying fuck? to claim the event isn't supernatural. We don't want a panic. We don't want mass hysteria. Get out of the city! Get out of the city! I will kick the unliving crap out of you! And you, especially you! Hey! Don't move! You got a, uh... No, I'm tired. No, no, listen. I'm just gonna go ahead and take off. How about that? I, I don't really think that's a good idea. No, nope. going to take off. Don't piss off the ghost. Really? <laughs> okay, that, that was a little funny right there. That, oh God, because, oh my God. I, I get so annoyed with how people just want to take selfies all the fucking time. You know... Having, doing pictures used to be about exploring the world. Now it's all like, hey, look at me. I'm in like this scene. Even though you want to pay attention to something else, I want you to pay attention to me. So yeah, that is actually a good joke. I, I'm actually laughing because yeah, that's exactly what I would expect to happen. Is that the fucking Stay Puff? Oh, fuck me. Okay, so that's the trailer. Um, I don't know, I kind of like the part with uh, Thor there, just got, pfft, you know, and it's like, you know, kind of maybe show a little bit more of that. And it's not even like, because I want to see more men and whatnot, I, I'm perfectly happy with funny females. I mean, my last show had funny females on it. I don't know, that looked a little bit cool, but it's like you didn't really show a whole lot of it, but it looks like he was just 
It looks like his role in the movie is more of a fanboy and not so much, I don't know, anything else. So he's basically um, Lewis from uh, the original Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Basically, that is his role. And I'm sorry, you can't replace Rick Moranis in that, no matter how handsome you look. This is better than the first one. And had this been the first trailer that came out, I might have been like, well, you know, it's kind of like, eh. Maybe it's worth seeing, but I'm not expecting a whole lot. But because of the first actual trailer... I'm still highly skeptical of how good this will be. I don't know if I will see it in the theaters. I doubt I will unless someone else pays my way. And then I will begrudgingly watch it and probably be disappointed by it. It, it did get me one laugh. And I have to say that that was pretty funny. It's, it's a much better effort. I will give the movie that. I think it did a little bit more of what a trailer should do, but at the same time, I, I, I don't know. It, it, there was that part right at the beginning where it's like, oh, well, this is something no one should ever have to see or do, or blah, 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 but you can do it. And on one hand, that's kind of like the cowardly character is like, oh, no one should do it. But you go ahead and do it. Yeah. But it also kind of feels like really trying to show, hey, this is um, what women, well, women can do it. So it's okay. I don't know. With everything that has been pushed in this movie, it's hard not to say, you know, is this what they're trying to do as politics of saying, hey, you know, women can do anything and men can do nothing. I'm also really disappointed that the one male character, a part of the Ghostbusters, is suddenly evil. That's like making um, Janine from the original Ghostbusters evil. She worked there. And yes, I understand that he's being possessed by some spirit, but seeing some of those things that look like uh, he was using uh, Chris Hemsworth as his avatar or whatever... To do evil. So it's just like, really, you chose a white guy to do that? Which, as I always say, the, the reason why you see a lot of white men in movies is because you can do anything you want to them and no one's ever going to call you out for being racist or sexist or anything like that. So it makes sense that they chose a white guy for that role because if they chose anyone else... Then it'd be like, oh, well, you're just sexist. Oh, you're just homophobic. I mean, look at what happened with um, the big black woman. Everyone's like, oh, well, they're just being racist in this movie. So I, I, I will call it out. I'll say that it is an improvement over the first trailer, even the rehashed trailer that they did for the UK. Um, I'd say it's about on par with the fan trailer that was made, although I'd love to see the fan trailer that was made for this one um, that hopefully someone will feature. It's an improvement, though. I will give it that, but I am still highly skeptical of how good this film will be. I think it'll be a flop. I think the only people who will really like it is anyone who has a political vendetta of saying, well, girls can do anything. And that's it. And it's like the post I put on Twitter. It's like, are feminists afraid of saying that this will be a bad movie because there are female leads? Are feminists afraid of that? Because feminists are always asking, well, are people afraid of liking a movie with female leads? No, I'm not afraid of that. You know, one of my favorite movies is Alien, and that has a female lead. A badass female. I'm not scared by women leads. You know, another one of my favorite movies was uh, Miss Congeniality. Yeah, I'll say it. I like the movie. Not so much the second one, but definitely the first one. That was funny as shit. Especially with uh, William Shatner in there. But I loved Sandra Bullock in that film. She was a female lead. She was the main character. We were following her. I also liked Hope Floats. I know I'm a big softie, but I don't mind strong female characters at all as long as they're done properly and in both of those movies a female character was done properly 
In fact, I shouldn't have to say female character. The character was done properly. I just, I, I don't really care about gender. All I want is a good movie, and the Ghostbusters film is not going to be a good film, based on what I've seen in both of these trailers. Again, had I seen this trailer first, if this was the first official trailer, I might have said, you know what, we really should wait to see what the movie would be like, but I don't think it'll be good. Having seen both trailers, I'm like, this is going to be a flop. And if that makes me sexist, then I am a motherfucking misogynistic shitlord. That's what I am. If that, if having an opinion on whether or not I will like a movie or not, and I have a pretty high standard when it comes to films. So, if it makes me a shitlord for having an honest-to-God opinion, I mean... James Wolfe, the angry video game nerd, is a misogynist for saying he won't go see the film, then I have to be a misogynist. So there you have it, feminist. I'm a motherfucking misogynist because I have an opinion of saying that this movie will be crap. Go ahead. Use this soundbite. I dare you. I double dog dare you, you stupid cunts. Anyways, I've talked long enough about this. This is Mad Cat signing off.